These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I'm starting my review for this little number here from you well. This is the Crown B Mod Pod. I know a little bit about this. I'm aware that it has LED lights. It says it does a direct lung. It says it does a mouth to lung. We're in luck because I like both of those things. Let's just set this up. All right, let's go, Crown B. Already looks cool. Yeah, it already looks pretty slick. Looks like, uh, you know, Orion-ish. Is that the button? Good lord, that is a big button and a wheel. Okay, wheel. Well, I got a spare drip tip. I got a spare completely unmarked coil head. Why, you well? Why? What does that say? I can't even read it. 0 0.8? That means the one in the magnetic pod with the sticker on the bottom is... Okay, that clearly says 0 0.3. All right, so I think I'm going to start with the 0 0.3, actually. Only because I'm running extraordinarily low on my mouth to lung pod liquid. I'm just gonna fill this tank up without putting any liquid down the coil head. As you can see, there's a little arrow and a flat side round side, and it fills via rubber grommet on the front. 1,150 milliamp hour and three and a half mil capacity is also nothing to blow your nose at. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Nothing? Hey, thanks, instruction manual. So one, two, three is gonna get you into the power adjustment mode, and that's when I can click the wheel. And the colors don't make any sense. Red is low, blue is middle, and green is high. Does that, am I wrong? Does that seem backwards to anybody else? Shouldn't red be the highest? Cause it's the hottest and blue's the middlest and green's the greenest. We're just gonna go with blue. It's got an auto switch. I can fire with the button as well. And one, two should turn off the fire button, but retain the auto switch. Oh my good God. This is uh, this is kind of firing on all cylinders right here. There's a lanyard hole. Don't tell me that's not a lanyard hole. That's that's actually not a lanyard hole. I think that's an air hole. Kind of slick. The lights are dumb, but it's kind of slick. I've got a USB-C on the bottom for charging. Big battery, big tank, auto switch, adjustable voltage. Shit, what's not to love about this right now? Well, here's the thing. I go for longevity. So today is day one. I'm gonna start using this and I'll catch up with you whenever I catch up with you. Hotel room vaping. I gotta say, traveling with this little Crown B pod has been, you know, great. Just, you know, practically awesome. It vapes so well. The restricted direct lung is so crispy and so flavorful. This coil head has lasted me a, a good long time, showing no signs of slowing down. You know, it's not perfect. I have a few gripes with it. I definitely don't want to end this review in a hotel room, but I do want to say, it, I haven't seen any leaking, like leaking, leaking out of the bottom of the coil heads. But because of the design of this, there's like a, a, a series of events that happens that leads to, hang on, I don't want to end this in a hotel room. And that series of events that happens is when I am filling it, if I don't keep this play area very clean and pristine, and by play area, I mean, you know, the hole where you fill it up. After I fill it up, if I don't keep this very, very clean, what happens is this will slide back in here. And because it's such a tight, nice tolerance, it kind of like squeegees your liquid right out the top and will just create this little line right at the seam of just a little bit of e-liquid. And once you feel it and start smearing it around everywhere, in fact, I feel some literally right now, it kind of gets everywhere. It starts turning into a fingerprint magnet. I've taken Windex to this and a paper towel to like clean it all off because I'm just sick of looking at smeary fingerprints all over it. Where is that coming from? For the record, I've had zero leaking anywhere on this certainly not out the bottom certainly not where the coil head goes in wipe out the inside of the battery okay here we go between my time on the road and right now i did switch over to the 0 0.8 ohm coil head to see how the mouth to lung is on this and listen here's the thing it's fine it's a little bit open but the problem that i have with it is it's mostly the most spongiest mouth to lung the coil head is nice and flavorful but a really good mouth to lung, this is not. It's quite an open mouth to lung and I have to slide the little airflow control on the back of the pod 
damn near closed to get a mouth to lung that I really like. Restricted lung, on the other hand, amazing, awesome. Even this 0.8 with 12 milligram non-salt liquid in here, open up the airflow all the way, I can kind of get a similar-ish restricted lung with it. And it's a, a much more enjoyable way to vape this one with, than with a mouth to lung. I kind of hate the big button and the big dial. Uh, it's dumb. I don't adjust the power on it often enough to necessitate a giant big dial on the outside. I'm putting a, a fixed resistance coil head in here. It's either going to be a 0.3 or a 0.8. I'm going to adjust this once. So this is kind of big and honestly, a little bit fidgety. I found myself just spinning it in the car when I was driving. So maybe I won't ding it for that. I do like that I can turn off the button. I have had zero issues with the auto switch. It fires quickly and consistently. I don't necessarily love the lights. Look, it's fine. It's just a, a two dimensional circuit board with a few of the same color LEDs behind it. It's not really anything that fancy looking. They make it look a lot fancier than it is, but it's overall pretty simple. It doesn't detract though. Like, I don't think I'm gonna ding it for that. The liquid issue constantly getting everywhere and being fingerprinty and smudgy and smeary all over the place is probably going to land this crown B in that eight and a half banana sticker territory, which is, you know, it's nothing to blow your nose at. The restricted lung on this is truly unbelievable. But I am a person that hates having liquid on my fingers, on my device. I just can't stand it. It is completely preventable, but does require a lot of diligence and attention and wiping and wiping and oh, so much wiping. Hands free. Not quite, you gotta really want it. <laughs> okay, well clearly I'm rambling. This is the end of the video. I can't tell you where to get these or how much they cost, but I can say if you're a person that currently smokes cigarettes, whoa, now's the time to quit, now's the time to switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free, guys every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. Starting and ending videos in the same t-shirt.